Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Jeep Air's Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And here we are on July 2nd, 2020. And uh, yeah, you see the swing swinging? No, there's not a ghost sitting there. The winds have been blowing again, so hampering any progress. But uh, I, did, uh, I did find out that when it's really nice and windy and the wind is coming from the right direction, it's a perfect day to take a couple of naps. So I did that. Okay, so let's get down to some serious stuff here. We're heading down to where the garden house is going because uh, I got something to show you. And uh, yeah, I haven't been able to do anything down here because of the winds. And of course, now that the day is ending, they're getting a little bit lighter. And uh, instead of coming out of the southwest, they're coming right out of the south now. But we talked about this and uh, what I'm planning on doing is this, this thing is going to be buried in the ground and uh, it's going to come down to within an inch of this top right here. Okay, so I'm just going to dig a trench all the way around and level it to drop this into place and then I'll move dirt into there and level things off after. I put in my aviary knitting. Yes, sir. I picked up a roll of it, 48 inches by 100 feet. That's 400 square feet. And uh, the nice thing about this is it's galvanized, so it lasts a little bit longer. But uh, it's uh, 89, uh, let's see, uh, 89.99. It came out to a little over $90 with the uh, tax and everything. But uh, I'll have enough to do under this whole floor, under the floor of the um, breezeway that's going to go in here. So I'll be going to be picking up some uh, more materials and getting ready to set this thing all up and uh, get going. But I can't set it up in the wind. So it's kind of like, uh, well, I'm just at a standstill because of the winds. And I have never seen this many days in a row of winds out here. But uh, then again, I've only lived here going on four years, but most of the uh, people that I know that live out here have been here 15 years. I'll need to ask them if they uh, remember uh, it ever being windy every day. It's, uh, it's just not fun. Anyway... There's, like I said, there's not much to talk about. I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm alive and kicking. Um, I went in the garden house uh, two days in a row. My cherry tomatoes are ripening up faster than I can eat them. So tonight I did uh, a little dish with, uh, I took some uh, thin, thin cut steak, cut it into strips, throw it in a pan with some, uh, a little bit of bacon grease. And get that starting to brown up a little bit. Then add uh, uh, chopped tomatoes, onion, garlic. Um, I didn't have any cilantro, but I put in uh, uh, coriander seeds from my cilantro plants because they're all dried up and I got plant uh, seeds on them. And uh, then I put a little lemon juice in there to give it a little bit of a zest. And I served that to myself with uh, flour tortillas. Very good. I'm kind of happy and satisfied. My uh, tummy says thank you. But uh, yeah, I'm going to see what I can get done tomorrow. Um, uh, work on this. I did, however, uh, take the car, the van down to a car wash and washed it down really good and got all the dirt and grime out of it. Because uh, there's one thing that you should know about the desert. In the desert, um, when you're driving on the road, as you can see on the tires, the dust there is everywhere. And as you're driving, that stuff builds up inside your hubs. And then that wears your brakes out faster. So as a preventative maintenance, it's kind of important to take it to a car wash every now and then, get a high pressure 
uh, sprayer and really wash out the um, hubcap area and the hubs. You can actually pull the hubcaps if you want and get in behind there and all that. Get rid of that dust because it acts like sandpaper on your uh, brakes and uh, wears them out faster. So just a little preventive maintenance. All right, also, um, this is all I've got left in water up here. Um, my other barrel on the other corner down there is empty. I'll be bringing the hose over and hooking it up here tomorrow so that I can continue watering my mulberry trees. And my mulberry trees have been, been getting attacked by something that's eating the leaves off of them. And uh, that one there is pretty much stripped clean. That one is uh, just got a few leaves left on it and that one's the best of all. So I'm going to adjust the camera over there and see what's doing that. And I just might have to uh, introduce some lead poisoning to whatever it is that's doing that. All right, everybody, that's all I have for today. Um, going to be a full moon pretty soon. As you can see, the uh, moon is getting pretty big up there in the sky. And it's about three quarters now. And uh, I'm going to be howling at that moon when it gets full. Is, uh, no, wait a minute. That's what a wolf does, not a bear. All right. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. I'm sorry I didn't have more content, but there's more coming soon. G-Bear signing off.